that high to go and for this it will be glorified when we shall leave this place. Can we have it on the screen, please? Sweet Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Sweet That's the presence of the Lord. The apostles could not do it without his presence, without his spirit. We want him to fill us up. We might have come in here. Maybe empty, maybe not half, maybe not full enough, but we have come. When we shall leave this place. Hey, sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet heavenly Lord. Hallelujah. Say, hey, my shut up, my boy, stay here. Feeling us sweet. Yeah, we want to experience and encounter your loss. Yes. We lift our heart and praise. Without a doubt, we know that, that we are being revived when we shall leave this place. Without a doubt, without a doubt, we know yes. we are being revived when we shall leave this place. Without a doubt, without a doubt, we know, I will know. That we are being you will know when we shall leave this place. Without a doubt, without a doubt, hallelujah, that we are being revived when we shall. Now let's begin to pray and ask the Holy Ghost. Come on and revive me with your power. Revive me with your fire. Begin to pray as you have entered into his presence. We will not leave this place. Ah, the way we came. Come, Holy Ghost. Revive us. Revive us. Revive us afresh with your fire. She shall leave this place. Now I just want us to begin to pray. Let's ask the Holy Ghost to come. Let's ask him to revive us. Let's ask him to revive us with his power and with his fire. The, the apostles could not do it without the power of the Holy Ghost. So let's ask. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Let's invite the Holy Ghost into our assembly, into our meeting today. Oh, Lord. When your man has sat at about, come and come and take over. Come and take over. Come and take over. We want you to be in this place. We want you to come and tabernacle in the hearts of your people. Yes, Lord. We want you to come and build your throne. Yes, Lord. It's all about you. It's all about you. Yes, mighty God. It's all about you. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Let's invite the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, He's the Bishop of our souls, He's the Great Shepherd, He's the I Am that I Am, the Everlasting Father, He's the Prince of Peace, He's the Savior of the world, He's the Emmanuel. Let's invite Him, let's call upon Him. Hey, Mama, we want Him to be the High Priest. We want Him to be the High Priest. We have come to worship Him. We have come to worship him. We have come to see him. Just like the wise men. They came and said we have come to worship him. That is what we are doing today. Yes. Yes, Lord. Build your throne. Build your throne in every department. In every department, in the praise and worship, in the ushering, in the children's, in the um, control room, and in the guest ministers, build your throne, build your throne, let your throne be seen. We pull that, let's begin to pull that man that kingdom. Any kingdom that is not of Christ, let's pull it down. Only the kingdom of God. We will establish in this place. We will establish in this place. Let's establish it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is the month of light. I want us to just look out. Today we are reading Revelation 12. Let's look at Revelation 12. 
verse 1. Verse 1. Revelation 12, verse 1. Please, can we have that on the screen? Revelation 12, verse 1. Okay, I will read it here. It says, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Ah, Masaraba. We need a great wonder. As we have come to worship at his feet, we want a great wonder to happen here. We want heaven to come and meet us here with great wonder. Then you and I, you have a great wonder of expectation. I have a great wonder of expectation. And as a church, we have a great wonder of expectation. I want us to pray and ask that as we have gathered, Lord, meet me with a great wonder. Meet me with a great wonder you have for me here. As I have come to hear, to hear your voice, meet me with a great wonder. Oh, let me not live here the same. I want to live here with a great wonder. In Jesus' name, amen. And then it says, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars this woman is supposed to be Mary but look at the way she's clothed she's clothed with light the sun is her garment that's light the moon under her feet that's light and on her head a crown of 12 stars stars that's light. The Lord has said in Genesis 1, let there be light. And there was light. It says that God spoke. He spoke. Let there be light. And there was light. I want us to pray. That let the Lord speak his light in this assembly in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord speak his light in this place. Let the Lord send his light in this place. Ah, that the Lord will speak his light. The Bible says that when the Lord spoke, there was light. And that light was good. And that light separated the darkness from the light and the night from the day. Anything that represents darkness in my life, let the light of God separate me from it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, speak your light. Speak your light. Shine your light here. Shine your light here. Shine your light in my heart. First in my heart. First in my spirit. First in my soul. Ah, it is all about you, Jesus. Shine your light. We want to see your light. When the word comes forth, let's see your light. When the songs are raised, let's see your light. When the word is spoken in power, let's see your light. Oh, mighty God. And the Bible says the woman was clothed with light. We want the Lord to clothe us with his light. Lord, clothe me with your light. Clothe me with your light. Clothe this assembly with your light. Let your light drive out any spirit that is not in, under your authority. Anything that you have not planted in this place. Ah, that does not have your light. Let your light drive it out. Let your light drive it out so that your people will see. So that your people will see you. Your people will see you. We want to see Jesus lifted up. We want to see Jesus lifted up. We have not come to see ourselves. You have not come to see me. You have not come to see anybody. But you have come to see Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to pray concerning everyone that is ministering. Starting with all the ministers in the house and our guest ministers. That the light will lead them. The light of God will lead them. The light of God that led Moses will lead them. The light of God that led Moses will lead them. I know we have all prepared in our own capacity and power. But let us ask that the Holy Ghost... The Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost will arise in the light of God and will lead everybody that is ministering in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. As for the leading, the light of God to lead, to lead everyone that is ministering, not according to the way they are prepared, but according to the way heaven wants them to go. Ah, according to where the Lord, the Lord has seen all of us here with different faces. And the Lord knows our needs. Ah, we want the light to be directional. We want the light of God to be laser. 
that the light of God will lead everyone that is ministering in Jesus name amen I want the Bible says in Luke 1 35 the angel came unto Mary and said to Mary oh thy highly favored one the Lord is with you I want you to begin to decree and declare that as I've come today this morning I receive the presence of the Lord that is with me. That let the presence of the Lord be magnified in my life. Let the presence of the Lord be magnified. Be magnified. And let us also pray concerning anyone that is ministering. Whether from the house or the guest ministers. That the Lord, that the Lord will magnify himself with his presence. That as they are ministering, that the angels of the Lord will stand beside them. The angel of the Lord that stood beside Joshua, the high priest, will stand beside them and give them the mandate. Because Gabriel, Gabriel said to Zacharias, I stand before the Lord. I know what is in the mind of the Lord. It is the Lord that tells me I come from his presence. That everyone that is ministering today, I in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will magnify himself in their lives. The Lord will begin to magnify themselves as they are ministering. The Lord will be magnified in Jesus' name. Amen. And then he says that the power of the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. Begin to call. We need more. If you don't want the power of the Holy Ghost, more of the power of the Holy Ghost, don't pray the prayer. You cannot have to pray. But if you want it, the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. So let's begin to ask that the power of the Holy Ghost will come upon us. The power of the Holy Ghost will come upon us and will overshadow us. We want an overshadowing. An overshadowing. An overshadowing of His glory. His Shekinah glory. It will descend in this place like a cloud. Hey! We want it to be different. We will not like the 22 lecture. The 23 lecture will supersede it. In the name of Jesus. With glory. The Lord magnified mightily and powerfully. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. Now I want us to pray. Where with me, let me just get. I want us to look at. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your light. Thank you for your light that is leading us. Thank you for the fire in your light that is leading us. Thank you, Lord. I want us to pray. Huh. You know, the Bible says that there is a river. Jesus says that out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living waters. Rivers of living waters. And the Bible says that he is the living water. So in Jesus, there are rivers. There are rivers of living water. I want us to pray that even as we have come today, that let the river of God flow. Let the river of God flow in this place. Hey, let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow from the altar. Oh, let it flow from the altar and touch his people and sanctify his people and purify his people. Oh, let the river, that even as we are dancing before the river of God, ah, that there will be a cleansing. There will be a washing away. There will be removing. There will be a sanctifying. There will be a refinement. In the name of Jesus. The thing that hides the gold. That the gold not to be shown. The gold will be shown in my life. The death that covers the gold. That the gold in my life cannot be seen. That the rivers of God. We will wash it away. In the name of Jesus. In, my, in that same Revelation 12, we are praying scriptures and we are praying for the power of God, the presence of God. One of the presence of God is the eagle. The eagle is one of the presence of God. And the Bible says that the woman was given two wings of the eagle. Ah, is there anything that is holding us down? I want us to pray that as I've entered here, let's receive the wings. Ah, the eagle.
eagle, that the Lord will send the eagle to give us the wings to soar above every storm. To soar. We're going to soar in the spirit today. We're going to soar above our storms. As we have entered with storm, as we have entered with problems, we're going to soar above it. Because the Lord is giving us the eagle. Eagle with two wings. He gave it to the woman and he carried her to a place that was safe and secure. Today, the Lord is giving us that wing. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, the woman was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly. Do you want to fly? You're in the presence of the Lord. Fly above your problems. Fly above your storms. Fly above your, what is it that's holding you down? We are flying because the Lord is preparing a great eagle. And that is the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. That's the face of what the, one of the creatures. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want us to begin to pray. Let's thank God for the opportunity to be here. Let's thank God for the grace to get up and to come in here. Let's thank God for power to come in here. For you to rise up and to walk in here is power. You need power. To drive the car, you need power. Yes. To actually get dressed is power. On this Sunday, some people are re relaxing. But you have chosen to come into the house of the Lord. Let's just thank God. And as we're thanking God, let's begin to pray. That more will come. That even as you are here, more will come. Let the Spirit of the Lord begin to stare. Let the Spirit of God begin to make men uncomfortable. Let it make them unsatisfied. Let it make them hungry. Let the Spirit of God make them thirsty. Pray that many will come. That these seats will not be empty. That they will be filled. Not only the seats, as they sit, their hearts will be filled. Their hearts will be filled. That the Holy Ghost will do a sudden work. The Lord, Holy Ghost will do a sudden work. That one that we do not expect. Let, let's pray for the work of the Holy Ghost. None of us have gone out to whoever he didn't invite. Let the Holy Ghost invite them. Let the Holy Ghost invite them. Let's begin to pray. Holy Ghost, invite them. Invite them, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, invite them. Bring them, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, bring them. We want them to bring them. Bring them. In by byway, highway, wherever they are, wherever they are hidden. Oh, mighty God, bring them. Make them uncomfortable. Make them to be thinking, I need to go to church. Let I need to, I need something more than what I have. Hey, let us call them. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We put our hands in your hands, oh Lord. Not only your hands, but put your whole self in his hands. In your hands, oh Lord. Put yourself, don't get, tell the Lord, I'm not going to be distracted as I've come today. I have come here with a purpose. I have come here with expectation. I have come here because I want to receive. So I put my life in your hands. Put your hands. Put your life in your hands. Put your soul. Put your problems. Put your family. Put your work. Your business. What is troubling you? We will not fail. Put your storms. Put, put it, put it. We put a hand. Put it to your hand. The hands of the Lord is so big. Hey, it's so big. Hey, yes. Let's put the service in the hands of the Lord. Let's put the guest ministers in the hands. Hallelujah! 
morning the guest ministers are our messengers of the Lord they will operate in the power and in the might of the Lord he said behold I send my messengers and he will prepare the way before me let's put all our guest ministers as the messengers of the Lord into the hands of the Lord and as they are in the hands of the Lord the Lord will prepare them the Lord will prepare their hearts the Lord will prepare them in the name of Jesus. Not only that, he will purify them. They will stand as sons of Levi. They will stand in the office of Levi as high priest and minister. Thank you, Lord. Let's just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Here reposa katele moze gate ribazi katole bagaza here reposa katole bojine ribaze katola basaka let's pull it up brother let's pull it up let's pray in the holy ghost let's pray in the holy ghost ma reposa katale moze gate ribazo kate here reposa katole bojige dere basa katola basaka ta oh when Mary said how shall this be oh the angel said the holy ghost how will this blessing come to you the holy ghost let's pray in the holy ghost Let's pray the Holy Ghost. Let's pray the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will empower you. Grant you the ability. Grant you the capacity. Bravo. Rago de le boze katole bo shikada. Hende lege se katole ba zege de riba se katole ba gande. Huri ba ke. Huri ba 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 gozele bo se ka. Honde li he kai. Brapa. Pai. 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 Grupo. Ye de lege za kote. He le boze katole ba zege. Is somebody praying? Is a woman praying? Is there a man that is praying? A woman that has come to worship the Lord? A man that has come to worship the Lord? A child that has come to worship the Lord? A teenager that has come to worship the Lord? Bravo! Yako! The Holy Ghost! Bravo! Bravo! Yedele bosse kato le bosse kata Yedele bosse kato le bosse kato le bosse kata Re bosse kato le bosse kata Oh Baro Yegete Yugete Rage Yege Zage Rabo Yago se le bosse kata Yegete le bosse kata la bashe kate Bravo bo 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 kakara Uri bakasa kato le boshi kata Yede le boshi kata le boshi kato Yede le boshi kato le boshi kata Yaro basa kato le basa kato le boshi kato Uri basa kata Oskate Oskate Yede le bo Yade le Yato le boshi kato le boshi kato Mare boshi kato le boshi kata Yede le boshi kato le boshi kata Oh, thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, the bright and the morning star. Thank you, the Lord God who is able. Thank you, the Lord God who is able. The Lord God who is faithful. The Lord God that does all things well. We we'll bless and we we'll worship your name. In Jesus' name, we're praying. You know, there's a chorus I used to sing. Oh, should I say we used to sing? Those of us maybe who are SU back then will remember. Very easy chorus. It just says, and in those days when we sang, we sang with expectation. 
we sang knowing that God uh, will come through for us. Uh, we sang with faith. Uh, we sang believing. Uh, and the chorus goes like this. It is going to be great today. Father Lord is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. It is going to be great today. Father God is already Prophesy Holy Ghost is already Speak it to the atmosphere It is going to be great Holy Ghost is already Holy Ghost is already Holy Ghost is already Holy Ghost is already It is going to be great today Hallelujah Father Lord is already here Holy Ghost is already I am going to be blessed today. Father Lord is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. I am going to be blessed today. Father Lord is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. I am going to be blessed today. Father Lord is already here. Holy Ghost. Amen. Welcome everyone. As we begin, let us start with an opening prayer. In the name of Jesus. Have your eyes closed as we pray. Our Heavenly Father, the Almighty, the Everlasting, the All-Powerful God, we worship and we exalt your holy name, Father. We declare this morning that we love you, Everlasting King of Kings. We gather in your holy name and we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. As many as are gathered here, Father, whether we know what we are doing or not, whether we are children or adults, Father, for whatever purpose we have gathered, we pray in the name of Jesus. May you straighten us, Father. Cleanse us for cause you made us, Father. Make us who you want us to be. We have gathered to worship you, Lord. Your word says, where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in their midst. Father, this morning, we pray that your Holy Spirit will dwell within us. Take pleasure in the praises that we offer unto you this morning, Father, in the holy name of Jesus Christ, Father. And as we remember our dear late pastor who established this church, Father, in the name of Jesus. His vision that says this church will be a church without walls. May it be accomplished to the glory and honor of your holy name, Father. Oh, Father, this morning we declare we are undone. We are not worthy to come before your presence. But we thank you because you are a loving Father. You love us more than we know ourselves, Father. This morning we pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever we do here this morning, take pleasure in what we do. Be established and glorified in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit take pleasure, dance with us, and rejoice with us this morning. And let everyone that comes here be blessed in the holy name of Jesus. And as many as on the way, Father, we pray that you quicken their steps, O God, that they will partake in the blessings that you offer unto us this morning in the holy name of Jesus. Our visitors, Father, we pray that you bless them. Those who have honored the man of God, we pray, Father, that you honor them. We bless and we worship you. In Jesus' holy and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just lift our hands to heaven and begin to worship the name of the Lord. Come on and bless his name. Give him praise. Give him all the adoration. He is the Savior, beginning and the end. Father, we magnify your name. We bless your name. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness in our lives. So come on, somebody. Tell the Lord. Tell him how much you appreciate him. How good he is to you. Faithful God. The one who kept you from the beginning of this year to this hour of the year.
come on and bless him. Father, we worship you. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. high. Oh Lord, be lifted high. For you are worthy. Righteous and worthy. Somebody sing to the Lord now. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Oh Lord. Be lifted For you. For you are all. Righteous and worthy. and worthy. Lift him high, lift him high, lift him high, lift him high. Come on and worship him. Lift him high. Father will lift you high. Jehovah will lift you high. King of kings will lift you high. Mighty God will lift you high. For you are worthy, righteous and worthy. For you are holy, righteous and worthy. Oh Lord, we lift you high. We lift you high. We lift you high. Let's sing it one more time. Be lifted. Be lifted.
you are the pillar that holds my life you are the pillar that holds my life righteous jesus you are the pillar that holds my life alpha and omega you are the pillar that holds my life you are the pillar you are the pillar that holds my life somebody sing it to the lord come on now you are the pillar that holds my life righteous jesus righteous jesus you are the pillar that holds my love, I'll find on me, God, you are the pillar I hold, my love, you are the pillar, you are the pillar I hold, my love, you are the pillar, Lord, you are the pillar that That holds my life. I'll find the maker. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds. Yes, Jesus. The pillar that holds my life. I to Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my One more time now. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds. Yes, you are. Mighty Jesus, King of Kings, you are. You are the pillar that holds. Yes, you are. You are the pillar that holds. Oh yes, yeah. I'm gonna make a. You are the pillar that holds my life. Come on, lift your hands and appreciate God, the pillar of your life, the keeper of your life, the keeper of your soul. The keeper of your being. Come on and worship him. Magnify him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Jehovah, we worship you. King of kings, we magnify you. We bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're glad to be in the house of God this morning, I want you to put your hands together for Jesus and shout a big hallelujah to the Lord. Come on, shout hallelujah. For seven, I will praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven, I will praise you, my Lord. Two for seven, I will praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven, I will praise you, my Lord. Two for seven. Seven. I will praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven. I will praise you, my Lord. Two for seven. Two for seven. I will praise you, Lord. Two for seven. Two for seven. I will praise you, my Lord. Two 
for seven, two for seven. I will praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven. I will praise you, my Lord. Somebody put your hands like two for two for seven. I will praise you. Praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven. Two for seven. I will praise you. I will praise you, my Lord. Two for seven. Two for seven. I will praise you, Jehovah. Two for seven. I will praise you, my Lord. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner man. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner man. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner man. When you see me praise. I praise like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me praise, I praise like a winner, man. Oh. I praise like a winner, man. Oh, winner, man. Oh, winner, man. Oh, we na mano. 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 When you see me dance, I dance like a we na mano. When you see me dance, I dance like a we na mano. When you see me dance, I dance like a we na mano. When you see me dance. I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Oh, oh, oh 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 winner, man. I clap like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me clap, I clap like a winner, man. Oh. When you see me clap, I clap like a winner, man. Oh, oh, oh 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 he has done for me. He has done it for me. He has done for me. He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. 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 What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. He has done for me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. Has he done it for you? He has done it for me. Has he done it for you? He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. What no man cannot do. He has done it for me. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Everybody lift him up. Come on, lift him high. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Hey, my Lord is good. I will lift him up. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up. My Lord is good. I will lift him up. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Everybody lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Come on, lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Come on, lift him higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Listen. Higher, higher, higher. Jesus, I am. I 
If you love my Jesus, you will lift him higher. If you love my Jesus, you will praise him higher. If it's been good to you, you will lift him higher. Higher, higher, lift Jesus higher. We give you glory. Oh, Father, 
Father, we bless your name. Come on, lift those hands to heaven. For thine is the power and the glory and the honor forever and ever. Come on, lift your hands. For thine is the power and the glory and the honor forever and ever oh come let us adore him Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Christ the Lord. Come, let us go. Come on. Oh, uh... 
Father, we declare mm. that we love mm. you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Father, we declare, Father, we declare. And we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Father, we declare. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. Somebody, come on, lift your hands to heaven and begin to worship him magnify the lord exalt his name extol his name lift him high for he is good and his mercy endure it forever jehovah we worship you jehovah we magnify you jehovah we lift you high you are god of all flesh you are god of all kings mighty God is your name Jehovah we praise you Jehovah we worship you Jehovah we worship you hallelujah come on lift your hands now all my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God Come on, lift your hand, tell the Lord this morning All your life, all my life you have been faithful. Say all my life, say yeah. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath, with every breath. Lord, you have been faithful, Lord. All my, my life, life, you have been so, so good. With every breath, every breath that I am here, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. Your goodness is running after. He's running after me. With my life laid out, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running. Your goodness is running after. He's running after. Say your goodness is running after me. Your goodness is running after. Is running after me. Your goodness is running after. Hey, is running after. With my life, with my life laid out, I surrender now. I give you everything. Oh, your goodness is running after. He's running after, he's running after. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Halle, halle. Halle, halle, halle. Say you are the mighty God. You are the mighty God. Oh, the great I am. Halle. Halle. Somebody say, Halle, Halle. Say, You are the mighty God. Mighty, 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 the great mighty I am. Great I am. Halle, Halle. Halle, Halle. Say, You are, You are the mighty God. The great I am. We've come to give you all the glory, Lord. We've come to give you the praise. You are the mighty God, the great I am, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are, you are the mighty. The great I am, the great I am. Halle, 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 halle. Hallelujah. Halle, halle, halle. Say you are the mighty God. The great I am. The great I am. Halle, halle, halle. Oh, sing it until something happens. Halle. Say you are the mighty God. The great I am. Halle, 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 halle. Oh, halle, halle. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say you are the mighty God. Oh, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, Lord, say you are. You are wonderful. Hey, you are worthy. Oh, Lord, you are wonderful. It's been amazing from January to December. Come on, somebody give a praise. Say you are. Say you are wonderful. Wonderful, hey, you are worthy to be prayed. You are one. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are gracious. Say you are wonderful. You are one. Hey, you are worthy. Oh Lord, you are. You are one. One wonderful. Hey. You are worthy. You are an incredible God. There's nothing you cannot do. You are an amazing God. Hey, there's no one you cannot heal. Oh, you are wonderful. Hey, you are worthy to be praised. You are incredible, God. That's nothing, hey, you cannot do. Ha! You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, let somebody say, You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, oh Lord, hey, you 
are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh Lord. You are worthy. Oh, somebody magnify. Oh. Say, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Hey, you are worthy. You are. You are worthy. Oh Lord, you are. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hey, you are worthy. Oh Lord, say, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be prayed. You are worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy, oh, say you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, worthy, oh Lord, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, oh Lord, you are an amazing God, there's nothing you cannot do. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Oh, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. Hey, you are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, oh Lord. Hey, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Oh, Lord. Come on, someone magnify the name of Jesus. Say hi. This kind God, another one know the high. This kind God, another. Say ah 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 ah. Another one, no, they oh, say, I this kind God, oh, another one, no, they oh, this kind God, another one, no, they say, I. Another one know they are Now I want to teach you something. You know photocopy is not the original, right? Photocopy is not original. You know that, right? Say photocopy. No be original. Photocopy. No be original. Photocopy. No be original, photocopy. Hey, no be original, photocopy. Photocopy. No be original, photocopy. No be original, photocopy. No be original, photocopy. No be original. Say ah, hey. Another one, no day. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Is that how we want to celebrate Jesus? Come on now, come on now, come on now. Amen. 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 Let's be seated for a minute. Hallelujah. For this God is our God forever and ever. He remains our God. His name is faithful. His name is faithful. He's God all by himself. The Bible said we slept, we are awake for the Lord sustained us. And that's why we are rejoicing 
we are happy to be in the land of the living giving our fruits our lips of sacrifice unto the lord and still in this attitude of uh, thanksgiving we want to give another sacrifice and that's the sacrifice of our tithes and our offering how many of us know that god doesn't really need your money right we are the ones that get blessed when we give is that correct amen so i know we're all excited in cornerstone when it's time to give tithes and offering we really get excited here because it's an opportunity for us to be blessed and we see the manifestation of the blessings that come from giving our tithes our offering first fruits vows whatever it is and i want to encourage somebody this morning that as the year is coming to an end if you've never given before you have to give amen so right now i want you to get if you don't have an envelope let's start with that please signify and we'll put an envelope in your hand if you do not have an envelope for offering every church should have one but if you do not have let us know just signify by lifting your hand and we'll put one in your hand uh, somebody needs a, an envelope here please amen hallelujah hallelujah i want us to understand this is a solemn moment please let's be quiet we are still worshiping god it's just that we want to worship now with our tithes and our offering so please let's reverence this moment i want to make sure everybody has it before we start praying now i want you to leave that offering that tithe unto the lord and begin to decree and declare that because you are paying your tithe according to malachi it says if we open the windows of heaven windows of heaven windows of heaven like never before not the way it opened in january not the way it opened in february march april may june july august september october november but in a special way is going to open the windows onto you it says it will pour so much there will not be room enough it says it will even rebuke the devourer for your sake that your tide become an offensive weapon to crush the head of the enemy can you pray over your tide please pray over your tide and i also want you to pray over your offering he said when we come giving cheerfully not grudgingly he said good measure pressed down shaking together men we give to you god we give to you please pray remind god respectfully of his promises and say lord i have come again I have come. I have come. And I want you to pray above every other thing you give in. I want you to ask the Lord accept my sacrifice. I come and I present myself a living sacrifice unto you. Let it be acceptable unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mighty God, we just thank you for this opportunity. We appreciate you. We don't take it for granted. This opportunity to give. We are excited because we know as we give, it's coming back to us. Lord, I pray for every giver this morning, for every tither, the Lord, you release your blessing upon them in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, I pray, the promise keeper, the covenant keeper, that you honor your word concerning these ones in the name of Jesus. And is there anyone here trusting you for a better job? Is there anyone here who doesn't even have a job? but is believing to give someday lord let the doors of opportunity be opened unto them we soak the sources of income of every giver here in the blood of jesus you will not be fired you will not lack you will lend to nations in the name of jesus you will not borrow in the name of jesus mighty god we just appreciate you for in jesus powerful name we have prayed amen Who has the finer say? Jehovah has the finer say. I said, Who has the finer say? Jehovah has the finer say. Jehovah turned my life around. Oh, he turned my life around. He made the way. He made the way. 
DJ overturned my life around. He turned his son my life around. No more. He made a way where there is no way. The finer say, who has the finer say? Oh, Jay overturned my life around. Oh, he turned my life around. He made the way where there is no way. What did he do? He overturned my life around. Yeah. Oh, he turned my life around. He made a way. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, good to see you, Sister Majiji. <laughs> God bless you, Ma. Um, just want to thank all our guests. I want to thank everyone that took, you know, that took the time to come and celebrate with us. So I'm here to just share with you the reason why we hold this every year. Um, the passion behind the vision and the mission of the Olu Yomi Adewale Blessed Memory Foundation is a church to build a church without walls. A church symbolizing growth, empowerment, and excellence in Christ. That's the beginning of the foundation. So what is the mission of this foundation? Every year around this time, the foundation seeks to fund and award scholarships by providing supplemental resources to students all over the world. I mean all over the world with stellar and superlative intellect as well as to those who otherwise will not have the means to achieve the educational goals so what's the vision of the lecture you will say ccm worldwide ministries in partnership with individual funders and sponsors assist such each student in realizing their full potential and preparing them for the 21st century. Also, the foundation in recognizing that there is an acute housing problem at Unilag. That's one of the places. Is considering building a hostel in Akoka for the learners. So the foundation's vision is to be a long-term and permanent benefit to the university community. May we just bow our heads and pray for the foundation. Can we just ask, Lord, that in, in accordance to the mission and the vision that we have just read, that let God give the strength and empower the foundation to continue to be a source of help to those who are in need. Let's just pray and ask that it will be a source of help and encouragement to those who are in need. The foundation will have more help, more hands. And also let's pray that those who are dreaming for excellency, power, knowledge, just like Daniel, vision, that their dreams will be purposeful. It will be directional. And it will be actualized in Jesus' name. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we give Jesus a mighty hand? All right. So we have come to the part that um, I know a lot of us want to know who the winners are. Amen. And this is something we do yearly. Yearly. Um, this program is meant to assist like our, assist, like our sister just uh, said. And there are some winners here we're going to announce. Um, 
And I want us, don't clap till we're done announcing the names of everyone and then we can put our hands together for the foundation and put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen. All right. So we have the... Um, we have their pictures, so you can put a face to the name, um, as I call them. So the first winner that I have here is a student from the Department of Philosophy, Philosophy of Religions, Religious Studies, uh, 400 level, at the Joseph Ayo Babalola University. The name is Otitolaye Aduragbemi Adura David. Amen. Don't clap till I finish calling all of them. Amen. <laughs> yeah, just bear with me. I'm going to try my best. You know I'm a Yoruba woman. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. All right. The second winner of um, this... Um, Scholarship here is a student from the computer science department, 300 level, uh, at the Joseph Ayo Babalola University. The name is Popola Jesuloba. <laughs> Listen, you can get my, my Yoruba made easy <laughs> when we're done here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, the second winner is um, a student also uh, from the computer science department, 400 level, at the Joseph Ayo Babalola University. And the name is Oba Loluwa Ibitayo. Oba Loluwa Ibitayo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the next winner here, I hope you all are paying attention to what we're reading here. So far, all, they are all from... Okay, okay. All right. The next winner here is Oreofe Esther Olayemi from Joseph Ayo Babalola University. I'm going to go a, a little bit quicker here. Uh, Omotunde Eniola Belumi Joseph Ayo Babalola University Ajirola Victor Abimbola University of Lagos Emmanuel Tumiche University of Lagos Aregbe Shola Olamide Oluwa Belumi, University of Lagos. Uh, Fashiku Adenike Oluwa Tobiloba, Oluwa Tobiloba, uh, University of Lagos. All right. Adeyonu Demilade Akiwumi, University of Lagos. Um, Shobowale Olashukbo, uh, University of Lagos. Afolabi Pam Pam Abigail, University of Lagos. Adefarati Oluwatosin Isaac, University of Lagos. Udochuku Victor Miracle. University of Lagos. Can we all clap now for the Lord Jesus? Let's Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. We're going to just, um, I know you all are <laughs> cracking up at my expense here, but let's just quickly say a word of prayer. You see, this, these people have just gotten good tidings. In this season, I hope we understand that this is the season that the angels are on assignment. As we are sitting here, they're all around. If God can open our eyes, we will see there are ministering angels right now. And before this year is over, 
I don't know what you are trusting God for. You see, these people just got scholarship. They didn't work for it. They, God just gave it to them. God favored them. I want you to bow down your heads. The Bible tells us in the book of Luke that why these angels came, they came with good news of great tidings. News of great tidings. I don't know what you're expecting from the Lord. I want you to use this opportunity right now to talk to the Lord. Lord, ah, there is still time. There is still time. I don't want to live here the way that I came. There is still time. I don't want to live here. I don't know what you are believing God for. Please talk to Jesus. Take a minute and talk to him. Is it over your spouse, over your children? What is that good tidings you're expecting from the Lord? Talk to him right now. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Ah, we are grateful because we know that wherever your children are gathered, you are also there. The Bible says, are there no ministry spirits? They are here to minister to us. As many of us that are still trusting you for that special delivery, for that special delivery from heaven, Lord, look upon us with your mercy this morning and deliver us. Express delivery. Express del the God of suddenly visit us this morning. Visit our families, oh God and give us that special package uh, that we will not live here the way we came thank you mighty god for in jesus powerful name we pray amen so you can clap now <laughs> hallelujah glory to god in the highest um i will tell those people in in university of benin to apply next year <laughs> yes that's what I'm going to do. I'm here just to introduce the man of God. But I also want to say, we know why we are here, right? We are here to celebrate the life of our Father in the Lord. Pastor Uluyomi Adewali. Who was going to be with the Lord in glory. But before he left, he put his, his leg upon this place. He left something behind that we can look back to and say, thank God. There is someone who gave unto the Lord. There is somebody who visited me. Why I need to, needed to be comforted. There was one day, I was still say, <laughs> I share this story every time. I was, uh, you know, scheduled for a surgery on my hand. I don't know how it happened. But before I got there, I want to cut it short because the man of God is coming. Before I got there, the man of God was already there waiting. And guess what? The, whoever was in, in charge say you don't need surgery no more. Look at my hand. In case you don't know testimony. God is good. We have in our midst our esteemed brother. The man of God who came all the way from Georgia. We know him. It's a household name. Both in Nigeria, in UK, in America, everywhere, all over the world. Uh, in Ghana, I didn't mention Ghana because this man is more of a Nigerian than a Ghanaian. <laughs> but the other day I was listening to this interview. He was speaking one language. I'm like, what is he saying? <laughs> there's, a la there's a language in Ghana. And he was speaking. I said, this is supposed to be an English interview. But he, he decided to go Ghanaian. You know, we welcome you, sir. He's a doctor. He has the key. Do you know that this man has the key of Brooklyn? I just knew yesterday. He can open Brooklyn. If Brooklyn is closed, he has access to Brooklyn. Put your hand together now. Uh -uh. Then it's another city that he can also open. I think it's Maryland or somewhere like that. So put your hand together. May God help us so that we, we who are here, we can open my heart. Uh -uh. I was asking myself, I said, God, this one came all the way to open Brooklyn. Which one will I open? Uh -uh. God will help us to open something. At least open something in your community. Uh, just open something. Only one thing. This little light of mine. I will let it shine. That's all you need. Yeah, thank you. Open your street. Start from somewhere. Yes. He's the founder of Rockville uh, Rock Hill Church in Georgia. Sorry, you know, mama always put me on the spot. Mama, you give me people that I have to carry like five notes to be able to explain all the itinerary. It's hard. I cannot learn all this thing in one night. 
Rock, what did he say? He's called Rock Hill. <laughs> he's the founder of Rock Hill Church. He's no other person. He's, he has a minister, he, he has a, a doctor of uh, divinity. You know what doctor of divinity is, right? Okay, for those who didn't go to Bible school, <laughs> you can contact, uh, <laughs> you will pay that time to contact him. He had doctor of, it is a doctor of divinity. And when you see him, he will divine, divide the word of God with, uh, with, with strength and with wisdom and by the spirit of the Lord. He has other accolades. Let me see if I still have something in my paper. I still have a lot. Okay, is it just because of time? Oh, he's an entrepreneur. Wow, a CEO of more than seven businesses. Put your hand together. The founder of World and Worship Radio. It's a songwriter, a producer, the author. It's a <laughs> His song. Let's just put, give, give it up for God for his life as he comes forward. Come on, let's do it. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. That was fun. <laughs> um, please rise up on your feet and lift your hands up and bless God for the memory of the great man of God, one who God has used greatly to impact almost all of us. For one minute, I want everybody to lift their hands and just bless God for his life. Please do it. Open up your mouth. Can the keyboard just join me up here? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. No, not just him, just him. Thank you, Father. Our Father in heaven, we bless you and we magnify your name. We glorify you. There's no God like you. We thank you that once in our life, lifetime we have experienced greatness. We have been impacted upon, not just here, but all over the world. Lord, as your seven rest, may his impact continue to move from generation to generation. May your name be glorified. Thank you for blessing us with a gift such as this. For one minute, please clap your hands and celebrate the servant of God, Reverend Oluyomi Adewale. Please celebrate him. And whilst we're still celebrating, please help me to appreciate the first lady, the pastor of this house. Mommy Adewale, please celebrate her. It is a great honor to be here. True honor. And I want to celebrate and greet, say hello to all the leaders, elders, pastors here. Benga, so good to see you, brother. You are an incredible man. Over 25 years ago, he changed the face of gospel music all over the world. This man. This man. He brought that revolution that made the world respect Africa gospel music. This man. And I will forever celebrate you. You're a good man. Thank you for your impact. My assignment is very simple. I've been given a subject to speak on, which is one of my favorite subjects. And um, if you're wondering what happened to my leg, if it hadn't been for the Lord on my side, the world wouldn't have heard good news. But thank God that my assignment is not done. And I'm still standing to the glory of God. Please help me to celebrate God. I have not been home yet. I've been in Ghana for almost three weeks. God did something mighty that blew the minds of everybody. And one of the nights I was busy watering the flowers at home when I slipped from my staircase. And <laughs> I was rushed to the hospital, emergency surgery, eight doctors were on me, literally doing all they can. And thank God for his mercies and grace. 
the concert still happened and God's name was glorified oh he who watches over Israel he neither sleep nor slumber please help me to celebrate God one more time and so I told my team I'm not going home to Atlanta I've got to come here first and honor the servant of God before I rush back home so my wife and children have not seen me yet but I had to come and honor God's servant let us stand for the reading of God's word as my assignment is very simple I've got to rush and also go catch the flight but I'll do everything I got to do um, I've been told to speak on the weapon of worship so I'll be taking my text from 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse chapter 10 verse 4 New King James Version 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 New King James Version and I want us all to read it together do we have it on the screen awesome one two three at the count of three let's read it new king james do you have new king james that's okay it's quite similar it's okay we'll work it out one two three let's read it together for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty in god for the pulling down let's read it again for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strong old spirit of the living God breathe through me as I breathe on your children do what only you can do and take all the glory somebody shout amen three times and please take your seat amen. and please be seated thank you Holy Spirit the weapons of war worship the weapons of worship now God gives me this interesting text in 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold now when we read this scripture it tells us that every child of God is a soldier every child of God number one is a soldier and being militant as a child of God, you will always encounter battles. Every child of God, all of us, are soldiers. And being in the army of God, we will always encounter battles. Um, somebody said, oh, um, I thought when I give my life to Christ, everything will be okay. I said, no. When you give your life to Christ, what now happens is God will be with you throughout all your battles because some people assume that once they give their life to Christ everything has to be jolly punky no it doesn't work that way once you give your life to Christ Christ walks in your boat with you through it all he stands with you now ladies and gentlemen the scripture says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal so when we hear weapons and warfare we have to understand that battles are involved weapons and warfare once you hear that you need to understand that battles are involved now the scripture did not also say the weapons of our war but it says the weapons of our warfare now this simply means that a war happens or occurs one time but warfare is continuous it didn't say the weapons of our war that means that in in, in 2023 i only encountered one battle and that's it no it, it didn't say that it said the weapons of our warfare this simply means that from january 1st to 31st december battles will come your way and you must overcome it uh, i started the year being able to walk fully until i got to a place where the enemy hit me with a battle but if it hadn't been for the lord on my side oh let israel say so when the bible says warfare it simply means this is continuous you could leave here today and another battle will hit you you could leave here this minute and the warfare will be declared against you but let me make a first declaration any battle that is raised against you from now to the end of the year i declare you a winner in advance if you will shout amen 
so it doesn't mean being a child of God you you are exempted automatically from battles no you will encounter battles you will face battle in fact the more you win the more battles the enemy would declare against you you win against you, you the enemy against your marriage and then the next time your husband is fighting you the next time your wife is fighting you okay your marriage is okay and then what happens the next time there's something wrong with your children your body Battles will forever be unending and you've got to understand that so long as you're a believer every time you win one battle the enemy will raise another one so the Bible breaks it down and tells us that the weapons of our warfare the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That means that there are spiritual battles as militants that we have to fight and we will always fight. But then it gives us good news and hope that we have certain weapons which are not carnal. And so we will not lose any battle because the Bible says stand still and know that he is God for the battle is not the weapons of our warfare every morning you wake up there might be a battle you sit in the car there might be a battle but i can assure you that no weapon formed no weapon fashioned against your wife no weapon fashioned against your husband no weapon fashioned against your children shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you you shall condemn for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal La so pregoste so the bible makes it clear that as a militant as as a soldier in god's army you've got some weapons that you gotta make use of uh, as a child of god as a believer you are wired automatically with some weapons whether you believe it or not whether you know it or not listen the bad side of this is this the enemy is happy so long as you don't know what you carry it's the enemy's prayer topic that you don't know or understand the weapons of your warfare because so long as you don't understand it you will not apply it but tonight somebody will release a weapon tonight that will release the miracle you've been waiting for for the past one year oh somebody shout a big amen right there you are about to release a weapon that heavens will hear your cry because you have lifted up that weapon i prophesy on five people that by 1 p.m before you sit in your car before you get home that break through you are believing God for throughout the year it will be knocking at your door with your name and with your number of it somebody shout amen three times amen amen for the weapons of our warfare apostle Paul preaching is addressing us believers is addressing us his comrades he's addressing us his the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God for the pulling down of stronghold this this is a mystery speech that apostle Paul is making you see it's not everybody that will understand what the apostle is saying so he's addressing fellow militants for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal so what are some of these weapons of our warfare that are not carnal but mighty through god and what does he do when we apply it we are able to pull down what oh you better preach with me that means that i need these weapons in my life i need these weapons in my life 24 7 so that when when life overwhelms me i don't run looking weak but i roar at the devil knowing what i have within for the bible says greater is he that lives in me 
and if greater is he that lives in me then if christ can never die and not resurrect then nothing can kill me uh, there is a symbol in ghana that that simply says that if god cannot die then you cannot kill my destiny uh, you can only kill my destiny if you can kill god and sometimes you've got to be as bold as a lion and tell the devil no matter what you try at me i will win this battle this year i don't care what your enemy has said i don't care what the doctors have said no weapon fashioned against me so what are some of the weapons of our warfare that the apostle is saying are not ordinary they are not carnal but they are mighty through god they are mighty through god when you pray in the name of jesus something happens what are some of their weapons the first weapon that i'm not going to go too much into is prayer and fasting prayer and fasting prayer and fasting is one of the most dynamical dangerous intercontinental ballistical missile when a, a believer a child of god is prayerful the enemy flees when you pray you become sensitive uh, when you when you delve in deep and pray even in tongues you confuse the enemy so sometimes in the battlefield you've got to change the gear you know you can start praying in english and then when you hit a certain dimension you change your tongue and the bible says your tongue begins to confuse the enemy you must master the art of waking up every morning and for one hour walk around your room and before you sleep anoint your home anoint your car and begin to blast in tongues jesus told his disciples one time except through fasting and prayer there's certain demons that will not listen to you if you are carnal they will they will wear you up they will scan you and see how weak you are and so some of the weapons that you need as a child of god number one is fasting and prayer at least at least a child of god you must fast three times a week at least minimal some of us we fast seven times in the in the week based on our mandate in life you must fast three times a week or 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 one time at least it's part of the weapon stop eating those mcdonald's stop that moi moi for some time that pounded yam in a goosey that swallow una for hold down give it a break sometimes be determined to to be lightweight in the realms of the spirit some of you before you speak tongues una don't eat too much so you can't eat you are sleepy so these are number one that's one of the weapons number two um weapon is is receiving prophetic direction everything happening here tonight today is a prophetic direction some of you after responding to this prophetic direction your destiny can be redirected it might seem ordinary to you that the the woman of god felt led to bring a, a man to come and just speak on worship it, it carnal eyes will say uh -uh, but mommy could have gotten somebody from here no the spirit of the lord told him told her that bring someone bring this man. people go argue tell you say ah uh ah -uh, mommies mommies what you not the see where we know the see you see if you're carnal it will not make sense it will it will not make sense so a prophetic direction can cause god to move and realign your destiny tonight i prophesy to five people who are ready for a change five people who are ready to say god move us to another dimension in life number three weapon of warfare is engaging altars you don't need to be a rocket science to know that this altar carries power you, when i came in here I, 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 I knew that there's something about this altar. 
again the carnal eye will not see the carnal mind will not understand some of you might think we're just going to church because we have to be there on sunday if we don't come mommy will call us and say ah, my sister i know see you for sure so why would i not come but what you don't understand is this altar carries so much power that if you engage it right fully, your destiny can take a U-turn overnight that those who looked down on you will begin to look up to you. Yeah. Weapon number five. Am I on four or five? Eh, somebody said three. Four. I think number four. <laughs> I'm just going to give four weapons. The fourth weapon is the weapon of praise and worship. The weapon of praise and worship. Two things that God can never do for himself. God can do everything. God can command anything now. And that thing must respond but two things God can never do for himself is praising and worshiping himself. <sighs> when you are a praiser and a worshiper, you have a special place in the heart of God that nobody can contend with you. And everybody can praise, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not everybody that is called for worship. So the Bible says, let everything that has what? Breath. Praise the Lord. You see, praise is a command to all. But worship is not a command. You have to be called into it. <laughs> praise is a command. That's why even animals are praising. Woo! Trees are waving. But when it comes to worship, please hear me. Only lovers worship. You see, worship is intimacy between divinity and humanity. Intimacy can be into me see. Worship is when both parties are naked before each other. <laughs> worship is when one becomes a servant and the other is a king. Worship is when you know who you serve and who he is. That when you say Kabi is C, you understand what it means. <laughs> when you are calling his name Arabaribiti Arabirabata, you know what you are saying. Because I heard him say, This can God, another man no day. Do you know what that simply means? With understanding that what this person, this God can do, has done, has been doing, no human being can do it for me. And you heard, I, this kind God, in, it's an expression, it's, it's a shout, it's a, it's a scream that this miracle, no man can do it. And it takes a worship part to uncover that. Listen, some people can praise out of moods. You, you don't feel like praising, you don't feel like singing, and, and, and so you can decide not to. That's why some of you don't come to church early. Because you're not in the mood. But when you're a worshiper, my brother would tell you, you don't have a choice. Your mood does not determine the atmosphere. And that's why God cannot just trust anybody to give him the heart of the worshiper. It's God that gives to people that heart of worship. And one person that we saw and can read about who carried that mandate was David. When you look at the story of David, you discover that David was a rejected stone. David never lived with his father. David was looked down upon. That's why one of his parents he said, In sin did my mother conceive me. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that David's father had an affair with his mother? And as a result of that, when the child David came out, he was put into the wilderness to take care of the sheep. A young man the least of his brothers, the last born, yet everybody looked down upon him. Because all of his brothers were in the army. They had, they had, they had the positions with Saul. But this young man was in the wilderness. And it was in that wilderness that God discovered him. 
It was in that wilderness that God gave him an instrument called the harp. It was in that wilderness that God gave him a song. While some of you are in your wilderness period, may you encounter God. Yeah. Oh God, some of you, some of you have been rejected. You feel like life has dejected you. It looks like you've lost your job. You've lost your marriage. You've lost everything. This is a wilderness experience. And may I suggest to you that you should look for God. God, like David wrote, as the deer panted for the water, so my soul searched for thee. So David discovered that there must be somebody bigger than the king called Saul, and I must look for him. And when he understood how the deer run, he said, This is how my soul longed for him. You alone are my heart desire, and I long to worship you. Ladies and gentlemen, when this man was busy worshiping, God was building an opportunity for him to move from the wilderness to the palace very interesting now we discover that in his story in his story a man recommends him to go to Saul just to play an instrument listen the devil doesn't like worshipers because that was his position before the devil cannot stand worshipers because that's what he used to do so when you do it wholeheartedly ha, you become an envy to the enemy that's why worshipers are always under attack because what you do for god is what he used to do so number one when you become or when you apply the weapon of worship number one you intimidate the devil because that used to be his position when you apply that weapon of worship number two when you apply the weapon of worship you draw god to your attention all the time you can try this week take time out and blast out worship songs in your car and just sing like you've lost your mind and watch what god will do for you in 24 hours right after you've worshiped god will turn that situation around that's why god called david a man after my own heart and not be me chase i'm nine chase me kings are not kings don't pursue people people pursue kings that's why he said david is a man after my own heart when you apply the weapons of worship you draw the attention of god number three you you play vital roles because kings cannot worship themselves god being the king he cannot worship himself so you become an important personality i can attest to the fact that picking up the worship mandate it's changed my life I've seen precedents. I've seen, oh God, I, oof, I, 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 I cannot testify enough of what God has done in my life personally out of picking up the worship mandate. And I pray for somebody tonight that as we leave this place, the anointing for the worshiper will fall on you. You're not hearing me. You see, it's not everybody that has the ability to do this. That's why I'm praying that God will find in his own mercy the heart of the worshiper inside of you. That when you lift up your voice, heavens will hear you. Now using or applying the weapons of worship, number five, what happens to you is your generation is prolonged. Your generation is prolonged. Let me give you a statistic statistical analysis all circular musicians who once upon a time we heard about the michael jacksons the luther van Rosses, the all these circular musicians have you seen their children picking up their mandate tell me have you seen any of their children doing what their fathers used to do no but look at the winans family look at some of these fambolari you know Bolari, right? Look at all, all these families. You can see that their children and their children's children are picking the mandate. When, when you satisfy God with the meal of worship, he extends your generation. He extends your generation. Your generation is called blessed. The weapons of worship. When you apply the weapon of worship, healing is inevitable. I have ministered to people 
or I've received testimonies of people who had cancer and after listening to some of my songs they were healed oh I've lost count of people who were there was there's a story of a woman whose three-year-old child fell in hot water she went to the hospital and the doctors declared the daughter dead the baby dead so they were getting ready to take the daughter to the mortuary when she said give me one second she puts the baby on her lap on the staircase and starts playing open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain within five minutes according to the woman the child begins to sneeze ladies and gentlemen the child is still alive i've i've heard countless testimonies of just worshiping that has healed and delivered many so when you apply the weapons of worship in your warfare healing is inevitable number two when you apply the weapons of worship you receive deliverance instantly deliverance instantly deliverance instantly every prophet moves with a worshiper check the bible worshipers carry the anointing for deliverance why because worship brings the presence of god and when god comes into the midst of the battle who can battle with the lord we were in ghana recently as i was doing my radio tour a man meets me at the radio station and goes on his knees screaming oh my god i finally met you oh my god i find so the security men were trying to push him back i said wait what's your story he said i was a witch doctor for 28 years a witch doctor he said i have been everywhere benin nigeria everywhere the powers i carry you can put all lakes and rivers together they cannot be compared to me i said so what is your story hurry up oh yeah they go they go he said one day i put on my television to try and look for business to try and work for business look for people give my address to them when you came in singing jesus shall reign and instantly the whisk that i had lifted up and hit me and i hit the ground he said i tried to get up with the whisk but i couldn't get up all my men my, my my sons tried to lift me i could not be lifted he said for five hours i was on the ground i told them to leave that song playing a witch doctor he said i got up and traveled back to benin traveled back to every witch doctor and asked them which can power this boy they carry for TV? I never see him physical. Though. Now this boy they sing, power don't hit me for here. And when they could not answer him, ladies and gentlemen, he gave his life to Christ. A witch doctor now becomes an evangelist. It's seven years now. And he's been looking for me for seven years to testify. Worship can bring deliverance. Which doctors can succumb to the power of God. Tonight, anyone working against you in the midst of the oppression, may the power of God hit them in the midst of the oppression. May they see that you serve a living God in the midst of their enchantment and of orchestration. May the hand of God be so mighty over you that they will ask you, which God do you serve? And you will tell them you serve a living God, a God of yesterday, today, and forever. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who was and is and is to come. He is bigger than the biggest. He is stronger than the strongest. He is purer than the purest. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. He's the covenant keeping God. He's Jehovah Yahweh. He's the Yivin Yisrael. He's the stone of Israel. Arabaribiti, Aribirabata, Eledumare, Kabiesi, Kabiosi, Talodabire. There is no God like him. May your enemies witness the power of God that dwelleth within you. May your enemies see that you serve a living God and not a dead God.
God I prophesy on somebody right now that before the year will end every healing you're believing God for receive it now in the name of Jesus before the year will end every deliverance you're believing God for may you receive it every document you're believing God to settle you on may Jehovah settle you may Jehovah settle you on this day on this special occasion I prophesy that as your hands are lifted up in worship you don't just have to sing even when your hands are lifted up may Jehovah encounter you may you encounter God may you come face to face with God may God turn your heart into the heart of the worshiper I prophesy that every healing you are believing God for not just you but for your entire family not just you but for your mother not just you but for your husband your wife your son your daughter I prophesy I prophesy before your legs will step out of this building may angels meet you and may they release your miracle in the name of Jesus 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 only lovers worship sometimes you don't need instrument because you are the instrument of praise and God loves to hear your voice even without instrument so when you wake up in the morning you gotta lift your hands you gotta wave your hands and give God all the praise give God all the worship I know you're still believing God for the document but give him worship first I know you're still believing God for your business to turn around but worship is mandatory whether you are in a good mood or not in every situation don't let anybody take that place some of you are conditional worshipers if you don't receive a miracle you will miss church if you don't receive a breakthrough you will be absent and when they call you you're not gonna pick up God doesn't owe you anything And if God chooses to show you what he took you out of last night, the enemy wanted you to die in your sleep, but he took you. You have every reason to bless God. You have every reason to celebrate God. You have every reason to say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Last but not the least when you apply the weapons of warfare worship your value increases i kid you not i kid you not when you when you apply don't sit down because i'm done when you apply the weapon of worship i kid you not god would decorate you ah god would decorate you i'm a living witness I'm a living testimony. By the grace of God, I don't need anything. I kid you not. I don't need anything. I don't. Yeah, recently, something went on viral in Ghana when they saw one of my houses worth over three million dollars in Ghana, in the most most expensive area in Ghana. People screamed, "Does he live there?" Yes, God gave me a house there. Amen. Yes. What does he do? I am a worshiper for God. God increases your value. Do you understand that? Do you know why? Because you are too important in his hands. God cannot do without you. Amongst my children, there is one that every morning she comes to me to kiss me, to hug me, to celebrate daddy. So when I wake up every morning, I need to see that one. So they all know when they need something, they have to send that one. And she just knows how to come around me and put her hands on me and say, Daddy, you know I love you, you know? You know, I saw you on stage, Daddy, it was so beautiful. Wow. And the more they do it, the more something moves me. When you touch the heart of God, you will move his hands. Worshippers have advantage. I kid you not when the hymn says all i have needed thy hands have provided it's my testimony 
I kid you not. God has blessed me with a beautiful wife with six children. I kid you not. I am blessed. I am blessed. God has blessed me with the fastest growing church in America. 98% Americans. How did, it, how did this happen? Over 500 members. How did this happen? And the hallmark, the thumbprint in that church is worshippers. Everybody worships. Even the usher walking, give a mic, and go sing. That is what God can do. We returned back to Ghana. And the whole of Ghana was at a standstill. Sonny Badu was trending everywhere. Politicians could not trend. Not, for three weeks, God held the airwaves standstill. For his name to be glorified. Oh my God. God increases your value. I, I've seen precedents. Politicians. Call me your songs. Your songs. Your, this is the doing of the Lord. Today I pray for somebody here. That may your heart move and shift to the heart of a worshiper. And as you apply that weapon of worship. May God deliver you from all evil. As you apply that heart of worship, may God see you through every hardship and every challenge. For the next two minutes, I want you to lift up your hands. And I want you to open up your mouth and begin to bless him from your heart. Tell him something you've never told him before. Only love is worship. And worship is intimacy between divinity and humanity into me see god look at me listen to me hear my voice look at me i'm here i'm here because you're faithful i'm here because there's no god like you i'm here because there can never be any god like you ah lion of the tribe of judah if it hadn't been for you on my side the enemy would have laughed we would have lost this church ah we remember what happened but you showed up jehovah the sustainer of destiny you are the one that has sustained us thus this far hey who can be compared unto you amongst the god you are the healer the one and only healer ah somebody give him worship somebody help me to praise him somebody open up your mouth in your midnight hour he showed up when you went through that midnight crisis he showed up come on why don't you open up your mouth in public and give him all the glory give him all the praise you don't need a song to worship him lion of judah Allah may your name be glorified mighty man of war mighty man in battle no one can be compared unto you thank you darling jesus thank you my darling jesus thank you my jesus thank you for what you've done for me thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. oh lord to be true Oh, come on, sing it. Ain't a true be true. I will be tea. I rub. Ain't a true be true. I will be tea. Ain't a true be true. Oh, come on, lift those hands. Talo da be right. Talo da be right. Inu bogbo alagbara la iye. Talo da. Talo da be right. Talo da be right. Alpha. 
me llamó Oye en uno ni paso Malita en lo cucú Na cantina si ni puchimo Y te pupé Y te omimí Y buafa Ninguno ni pasu, malite no gugu, na kamji. Oh goi, oh luwa, yeah, oh goi, oh goi. Come on, sing it out, oh luwa. Yeah. Oh, glory. Oh, Lua. Yeah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, Lua. Yeah. My Jacob, Mashe Jacobache Mashe Jacobache Alua Je Ogogi Lift those hands and say Mashe Jacobache Mashe Jacobache Mashe Thank you Jesus Hear me Oh Jesus In atmosphere like this In a sensitive time like this Let me tell you something God is watching and Papa is watching I kid you not Papa is an angel and his spirit is interceding for all of you he's watching he's smiling he's pointing some of you out to God that's my daughter that's my son and the more you rejoice the more his his seat becomes bigger in heaven because he's good and faithful servant if i tell you how the spiritual realm operates did you know that sometimes how you are sent off on earth will determine the seat you sit on in heaven how you are sent off on earth heavens will watch listen to all testimonies oh yeah they come and tonight today i want us to do something monumental that will become a memorial before heaven and earth some of you your entire destiny depends on this i want us to hold this legacy strong and i want 20 people to do something that will blow the mind of papa and even god I want 20 people before 25th December to give a thousand dollars to this foundation. 20 people before 25th of December, you give a thousand dollar. Oh yeah, climb stage, climb the altar, climb the altar. Take the envelope from me. Number one, please come, come and stand here, come and stand here, mommy, come and stand. Number two, 20 people, quickly, 17 more people. 17 more people i heard god clearly mommy you want to come that's a sensitive woman please come quickly 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 run to the altar the man is watching his spirit is here some of you get ready for a christmas present i kid you not get ready for a christmas present blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy i heard the project it's not for somebody's pocket it is to better somebody's life who knows 
the next medical doctor is somebody here you are sowing into their life please climb the altar climb the altar before 25th you are saying this is my sacrifice come God said 20 people are you part of it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 quickly 8 more people quickly 13 quickly run to me let's do this beautifully quickly 14 run run 14 this is beautiful 15 this is beautiful 16 17 three more people three more people 18 you and your husband 19 that's beautiful 20 keep coming 20 21 keep coming keep coming let's make it 30 keep coming 22 let's make it 30 22 number 23 keep coming if this man has been a blessing for you quickly let's make it 30 24 come by 25th December and I want somebody to write the name and mommy with your permission I'll call you with everybody on that day and I'll pray for everybody I felt the spirit of of Papa here I felt it I felt it some of you will see him in your dream he say thank you some of you will see him in your dream he will bless you for holding and keeping the legacy run to me run to me are you coming run to me come and stand on this altar that was built by him quickly I heard what they said they said he came here before God called him quickly five more people let's do this beautifully this is your church this is your house honor God and God's prophet heavens is rejoicing how many people do I have how many people do I have please help me count please help me count please help me count no be say go call you and I go talk say I know have all please if I know have go sit down this is a serious thing that will change somebody's life a medical doctor an engineer a lawyer's life I kid you not something is happening here today how many people do I have 27 three more people to make it 30 three more people run to me make it 30 run to me you have up to 25th December you have up to 25th December let me make it easy you don't have the thousand you have five hundred dollars quickly come quickly come you're saying let me be a part of this quickly quickly and some of you expect God to surprise you before the year ends I promise you there's a reason why mommy called me here God told him call him here God said call him here quickly a sacrifice of 500 quickly 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 now lift your envelope up and begin to ask God for one miracle not two not three one miracle that you've been expecting him to do before the year ends before this year ends before the curtains of this year will close one miracle quickly run to the altar run to the altar run to the altar you don't have the 500 you have 250 please, please quickly I know everybody want to be a part of it I know everybody want to be a part of it please meet me right here 250s come here right here if you're 250 here right here this is beautiful the man is smiling this is beautiful this is beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you on behalf of Papa's foundation thank you on behalf of Papa's legacy thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you please lift your sacrifices up worshipers are faithful David said something he said I will not give God anything that will not cost me he said something he had a personal covenant with God that anytime God needed something he did it wholeheartedly 
Can I say something to you? Can I be honest? Throughout the whole year, think about this. How many prayer meetings have you had? How many fastings and prayers have you had? Think about it. So many. But some of you, as we're ending the year, you realize that not even one prayer has been answered. Take the music down. Have you thought about it? That the same problem you went into 2023 with is still there. Can I be honest? Can I be real? When God gave me this message, mommy, I changed my messages. God said, how many fastings and prayers have, have you done? I said, we did 40 days. We did 41 days. We did 21. He said, has anything changed? I said, no. I said, that's actually true. God now said, how many events have you held? I said, about five. He said, did anything change? I said, no. Did you know that some of us, the answers to our prayers have been blocked? Not because we have offended God, but because our ancestors have done something that has become a stumbling block. Some of us have, have inherited ancestral curse. Let me go deeper. Am I okay to go deeper? A few, and I gotta get going. A few years ago, a woman came to me from Houston three of her sons two have died and how do they die every time they're about to write an exam they die she came to me and the spirit of the Lord opened my eye and I ended up in Nigeria I said what am I doing in Nigeria she said my husband is Nigerian I said what am I doing in the bank she said he was a bank manager then I said wait a man a poor man came to that bank needed a loan this man was a bank manager used the poor man's details to collect a loan but never gave the money to the poor man what was the loan for the loan was for the poor man's son who was sick in the hospital to he get healed now the poor man's son dies the man goes back to the hospital and um, to the to the bank and one of the bankers said oh god don't take the money so in pain the poor man sat on the ground and said all your sons who go through what my son has gone through. So what does the father, the man who had not married, he hadn't given birth. He moves to Houston, gets married. The man passes, but the curse is still there. So the woman who doesn't know anything is holding sons who are dying out of their father's error. No amount of prayer can take, no, no amount of prayer can take you out of this curse. Because it has its legal standing. And if God steps in, demons will say, the man robbed a poor man. So you see, some of us, the reason why our prayers have not been answered is because there are some unsettled debt on our heads. And so what do we do? When you come to the altar of God, you pray for mercy. Mercy must be on your lips every day. That I don't know what I inherited. But if your mercy can find me. So the truth is from January 1st to the 31st December. All your prayer must be prayers of mercy. That God, perhaps my father was a criminal. Perhaps my uncle was, a bank, uh, was an armed robber who killed people. And the blood of the innocent has spoken against me. So irrespective of if I'm a man of God or not. If my grandfather has committed an error, he will find me. How do you overturn this? Number two show others mercy so the bible says blessed are the for they shall obtain that's how you take generational curses from your head so what you're doing tonight is saying god any curse that i carried on my head any curse that i inherited as i put this seed down on the altar let it divert all the curse from my head Amen. what you have done today has taken away generational curses from your head. Yeah. What you have done today has become the keys. And I heard him read that Dr. Badu has keys. Today, spiritually, I unlock every breakthrough for you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, in the next five days, may you be the first to testify. In the next seven days, may your phone call that will ring be a call of good news. May the Lord bless you all. He shout amen five times.
Please hear me. This is a good cause. This is for God. And so those of you who have written your name on the 25th, please call me. We'll be on Zoom. And we will all pray together on this altar as we give thanks to God. Congratulations. Something has been lifted. Please go and take your seat. Please help mommies, mommies on the staircase, please. Please help all the mothers. Appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could stay longer, but you got to catch the flight. <laughs> I promise to come back another time, but I've had a great time, and God bless you. I appreciate you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. What an exciting time in the presence of the Lord. And I want to believe that every prayer that we have prayed today, that the Lord has answered them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, I know a lot of people um, pledged to give something. Um, before you leave, please write. You, I want you to meet me in the back. Write your names and also in your envelope. Uh, write your name as well. We'll put, the, we'll put a bucket here for you. So when you write your name in your envelope, you can drop it in the bucket. But please meet us and write your names here in this. Okay. Uh, to, and also write foundation on your envelope. All right. Everyone that gave, please don't leave as well. We're going to give you a t shirt. We're giving you a t shirt and, um, and a book okay a notebook so please don't leave write your name as you write your name we give you a t-shirt and a notebook all right so meet me in the back and write your name in your envelope please write oluyomi adewale foundation on it and we put a bucket here you drop it at the altar does that make sense all right praise the lord All right, maybe we can sing some songs while we're waiting for Brad Toby. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus lifts you up, nobody can put you down. Jesus promote you, nobody can demote you. Yeah. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Oh yeah, lift him higher up, up Jesus. Would you lift him higher? 
Lift him higher. Higher, higher. Up above Jesus. Up above Jesus. Oh, oh. I say when Jesus say I say nobody can say no. When Jesus said that nobody can say no. Oh yeah, up above Jesus. Lift him higher. 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 Higher, 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 higher. Give him a dance off for real quick. Say Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Say Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Oh, say Jehovah, 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 Jehovah. Jehovah, turn my life around, hey. He turned my life for He makes a way, makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the finer sea. Praise the Lord. So like I said, we have a bucket here. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, some people were asking me if uh, they can pay right now. If you, if you have it, absolutely. But please write here. Oluyo me foundation in your envelope so we don't mix them together all right if you have the money to give right now do if you don't still put it there but make sure it's a pledge that you do if you don't do it today you can do it during the week but please put uh what is for all right i'm gonna leave it here and there's a paper going around write your name as well we're gonna give you a t-shirt and, and a notebook so the paper is going around before you leave please uh, stop by, we give you a t shirt, all right, and a notebook. God bless you. So, last minute. Amen. On behalf of our family, I want to thank every one of you for coming here. I am loud. Um, for taking your time and honoring the um, man of God. I praise that even as you remembered him, God shall remember you for good in Jesus' name. Amen. Doctor finished preaching. Another doctor came up. We didn't see the doctor. Let's put our hands together for our doctor. God is wonderful in this house. We'll continue to have more doctors in the name of Jesus. More nurses in the name of Jesus. More people of affluence and influence and grace. More money in our tabernacle. So that when we want to do things, it will be easy for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before uh, Pastor Jonas comes to do the grace, from what Minister Badu said, <laughs> that means Christmas Day. We have, a, we have to be in church. Because, I, 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 no, but I'm just saying it. Christmas Day, he said, all those who gave. Zoom. Ah. He said, Zoom. Yes, he want us to be. He said, on this altar, please, be all, as you see me, we're going to obey directions so that we'll be fully blessed. He said, on this altar on this altar that was what he said so that brethren your blessing will be will be you know uh, if he had come on time i wanted to whisper i, I wanted to whisper dr badu you know we're african church oh, me i believe in deliverance but you know i he came late you understand but see god see god see god i'm so thankful to god i'm so grateful to god and as uh, every prayer that that he has 
uttered that he has prayed that every curse that has been broken they will stay broken in jesus name they will stay destroyed in jesus mighty name pastor jonas is there another? um for orderliness so we don't miss anybody after the grace please stay where you are we'll come and give you your um your t-shirt and your book because we don't want to want it rowdy after the grace please stay where you are we'll come and give you your t-shirts god bless you put your hand together for sister <laughs> Me too. Yeah. let's always encourage let's be an encourager you know let's encourage our brethren even though it's not small thing that they do let's just you know I, I love someone encouraging me so that I will finish strong. There's a car that is be running, K R O Z 5296. K R O Z. It's a Nissan, black Nissan. It's been on. Please turn it off if it's yours. Huh? Okay, <laughs> brother, so you, will, you, will, <laughs> you will tell us that one. Whoever have that number, if you can't recognize your number, after the service, you turn it off. Amen. If today is your first time here, please do lift up your hand so we can just say hi to you. Today is your first time. Take a step of it. Stand up. Today is our first time. Let's put our hands together for her. Today is your first time. Rise up. I see that sister over there. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward, man. I see somebody over there. Hey, Come over. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. We can see all over you the beauty of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Amen. It's an amazing service. You're welcome in the name of the Lord. My name is Israel. Tell me your name. Who brought you to church? Beatrice is my name. Beatrice Davis. And I'm a co-worker of Isa. Evangelist Isa. She's a co-worker. You know what it takes for you to bring a co-worker? It means that you are a good woman, eh? Let's salute Sister Isa. I hope that you will, as a seeker of God, you will continue to come here to seek the face of God. All right, and somebody will be here just to say hi to you. I know she's a little bit busy now, but um, she's gonna say something to you. Oh, you see, this is corner. So, this is what I'm talking about. Encourager, God bless you, ma. So, they will tell you something about the church so that you know you will know when the church is open and what we do. The Lord will bless you, Sister Beatrice. God bless you. Have a seat. Say, sister, it's waiting for you. Thank you so much. And for those who didn't stand up and they are new, we salute you. Those who are online, please let's just wave our hands to our online brethren. We know you are somewhere in Nigeria watching us. For those who receive special gifts, so those who are in London, those who are in India, Pakistan. Nigeria, Abuja, which uh, Lagos, which Ibadan, Benin, eh? Bronze, <laughs> Toronto, Canada, Toronto, eh? Uh -huh, Germany, our brother for please special greeting to our brother from Germany. Then how about our brother from um, uh, Brazil? Jesus say Ray, Jesus say Ray. Yeah, they are watching us. <laughs> our brother in Brazil. Our brethren in Campinas. Oh, yes, our brethren in Brussels. Please let's give a game of free. Where again? If I say you know every you know all our brethren, which one? <laughs> it's a it's a it's a just tired once. <laughs> what? Mama say Pakistan to Pakistan. That one is a deep uh, interpretation of tongues. I I need energy to interpret that. <laughs> okay. God bless you all. First, on behalf of our, our mother in the Lord, I want to salute everybody. I want to say that you did well. Clap for yourself now. Huh? You dressed good. 
you comport yourself well, you are very happy, you smile with us. We asked you to sit down here, you were, you know, we are obeying rules. God bless you. Amen. This week is another week. It's another week where we have to be strategically located in a place where God will meet us. See how we came here today, God has met us. So let's know that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as a praying church, you see it on the screen, 6, 12, and 8 p.m., we are engaging in prayer. We are engaging in fasting. So let's make it our practice. On Monday, the women will be praying, fasting. Tuesday, the men. Wednesday, the youth and the young adult. Thursday, the women. And Friday, the church will be praying. But this Wednesday, oh, somebody said this Wednesday. This Wednesday. <laughs> oh my God. There's a song that says, Ah, this can go. I never. This Wednesday, it's going to be like that here. You understand? So let's come and celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. People are happy in the house. I'm excited. I can't wait to put on my clothes. My Christmas clothes. Abby, you know, get. Okay. <laughs> For those who don't have Christmas clothes, please try, you know, put your Christmas clothes on. On Wednesday, the 20th of December, 7 p.m., all road lead to Cornerstone Christian Ministry. Please, those who are in one activity or the other, fine-tune your activities so that we'll be able to present to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the best gift of Christmas. So make yourself available. Then on Friday, we're not taking any break. We're coming again for our ninth vigil. All men, all women, let's engage and pray on zoom and as we do this the lord will do wonders in our midst in jesus name if there's any other any other announcement okay there's ah mama say christmas day <clears throat> she don't talk about which time you want <laughs> no worry we will let you know the time whatever i want but you know everything is prophecy we don't walk ordinary this place this church is not an ordinary church so we don't walk, we walk by prophecy so as they give us instruction will let us know uh, when the church will be open on Christmas Day. Mama said 10 o'clock. Everything is determined by prophecy. 10 o'clock. It's been done. 10, let's be here. It, usually it's two hours. You're 10 to 12, you go back and it's your Christmas. Hi. I, those days when we were younger. I, I'm trying to remember those days, but you know, we'll still make it. Mama said, look at time. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Amen. Hallelujah. So on the Monday, let's be here. 10 in the morning. Lord bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor Jonas. Oh, Pastor. Angel Jonas. <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for honoring God this morning. Let us rise as we sing the grace and do our closing salutes. And again, I want to say congratulations to everyone that won the scholarship. Everybody that is watching online here, please apply next year. You might be lucky, okay? Yeah, we want also to appreciate those who have honored this invitation to grace the occasion here with us today. Our dear brother, Brother Benga Wise, always a good friend of mine for a long time and a friend of the church. May God honor you and bless you. And for those who are your face are not familiar, but we welcome you. God bless you for honoring here. In the name of Jesus, God will continue to bless you. Amen. Oh, also, I want to recognize our dear brother here, Brother Mike Dada. He's, thank you. It's an honor for you guys to be with us here. We appreciate you. We love you. And may God bless you in return as you honor this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let us sing the grace, please. The grace, grace of, of our Lord. Lord. Jesus Christ, the love of my God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Holy goodness and mercy shall follow me all 
all the days of my life. When I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord And in the most holy and powerful name of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In that most beloved name of Jesus who keeps us at peace. In the holy name of Jesus who empowers us to be holy. In the mighty name of Jesus who has promised us a home in heaven. We salute you. Have a peaceful week in Jesus name. Amen. Please there is refreshment at the back. Let's There's refreshment at the back. So whenever you are moved, for those who made donations, you can sit down to get your gift. But there's refreshment at the back. Go through uh, the, uh, the overflow. Thank you. Please go through the overflow. Thank you. There's everything there, okay?